it, the infant it, doesn't it, speak so it is the need it is the love it is your restlessness that will open up everything moment i decide that yes i want to pursue this path with all my heart then you will you will definitely be more and more sensitive good namaste namaste to everyone daji this is about lala ji can you give more information from where did lala ji get his teachings and how he achieved enlightenment well as it is said by babu ji maharaj you know he has written little biography on life of lala ji he has pretty much described where he got his knowledge and he received his enlightenment and how in his autobiography babu ji has mentioned at every stage how lala ji had received the company of some saints they were from islam faith they were from christian faith they were of some hindu faith all kinds of people they contributed to all these things but from his very childhood by the age of 8 or 9 he was awakened to this ultimate uh, enlightenment and that made it possible for all kinds of saints to be attracted towards him and share their knowledge with him next toy as an atheist i feel a strong spiritual side can i use heartfulness for improving my life and love my neighbors and also have a good life see i i like this idea of atheism uh, i have i have often spoken about it that people who really believe that okay i believe in god but behind this belief there is not much of substance you see when you ask someone why do you believe in god that person would say he will start sketching oh i don't know maybe my grandmother told me so or my father told me so or my mother told me so but behind the true belief of of in god even the best of us they are still trying to search the answer in the form of experience and once we have the experience of the presence how does it matter you see whether we are a taste or taste you will have to believe it when the sun shines we have to believe in the sun that he exists do you believe in the trees they exist do you believe in the flowers they exist no you don't have to believe anymore afterward they are there you can see it when the god's presence is felt afterward in your life you don't have to say i believe it because i see god so a theist approaches meditation with the idea that god is present and i would like to feel the experience of his presence how to increase sensitivity you you ask this question to a mother how do you become sensitive enough to know when your boy or a girl or your daughter is hungry when he is not even asking for it it the infant doesn't yes. speak so it is the need it is the love it is your restlessness that will open up everything moment i decide that yes i want to pursue this path with all my heart then you will you will definitely be more and more sensitive so can the tendencies in our subtle body manifest in our grosser body what is the relationship between gross and subtle bodies well why are we locating them in the subtle bodies tendencies are tendencies see they are like habits habits generally they remain at an animal level at a physical level very rarely at the mental level and very rarely it it touches the soul very 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 rarely i mean it, it never happens actually the tendencies is the by product of samskaras very deep samskaras can form tendencies you have seen how nicely babuji maharaj explains how we form the samskaras 
You see, he says, okay, you, you, your way to home from the office is through a garden. You're passing through a garden and you see a beautiful rose. You know, it is so bloom so nicely, beautiful color. And you, you appreciate it while you're walking. The second day, oh wow, it's, it's, it's even more beautiful today. Third day, you like to hold it in your hand and smell it. Fourth day, you would like to pluck it and take it home. So this is how we, we, we form the samskaras by first being attracted, by forming a mental or heartfelt attachment. See, and this attachment carries us in forming samskaras. Now you will go on collecting flowers after flowers in your life. That becomes your habit. See? Even when the great masters come up and help us, that okay, let me remove these samskaras of you collecting the flowers. But removing samskara is not enough. Sometimes tendencies remain. Sometimes your memory also plagues you. When similar atmosphere again and you say oh in this garden how come there is no flower it will remind you of that see you're missing something and slowly you'll start looking forward to it mm -hmm.